Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the soundboard in Peak. First, you need to install the smooth board. You can download it for free at the link in my description, then run the installer. Once you have it installed, go through the setup process and make sure to set your headphone device and microphone device correctly. For me, that's system for my headphones and then chat mic for microphone. Then test then it and testing, you should be able to you hear, yourself, hear talking. yourself talking. Next, we'll go through the rest of the setup tutorial. This page just tells you to set your mic to cable output. We'll go over that in a bit. Then it'll show us how to add sounds. So just click the web icon and scroll down to download. It'll add the sound to our profile, click it to confirm that it works. And then after that, uh, it's just telling you the rest of the ways you can add sound, which is by dragging and dropping audio files, or you can download the Smord profile, which I'll show you at the end of this video, my profile I use. Next thing you do is open Peak, then go to settings down here, then go to the audio tab, then set your microphone to cable output. Then leave your microphone mode on voice activation. Though you can use push talk if you want, push talk can sometimes make sounds go through clear because it's not uh, cutting out the lows, but at the same time, having to hold down the push talk key the entire time is a bit annoying, so it's up to you. I would just use voice activation. And now when I play a sound, you can hear it in game. Now that was a bit loud, so I would recommend turning it down a bit when using this with your friends, but I guess it's up to you. I'll link to a website in the description that fixes some audio issues this game can have, where if your friends can't hear you or you can't hear them, it'll help you fix that. And I'll also link my smoreboard profile that I use. You can download it and just drag and drop it into the smoreboard and it'll automatically import over 170 sounds that I use. And also on screen now, you can click a tutorial that'll show you how to control the smoreboard with your phone. That way, if you don't have a stream deck or don't use keybinds, you can still control the smoreboard super easily.